Bass Pro Shops One Source. Brought to you by Global Outfitters Outdoor University. Hey y'all, it's Marty Duncan from MartyKnowsParties.com and Season 8 of Food Network Star. If you haven't guessed, I'm getting ready to throw a little party. This one's a backyard campout party. This is a fantastic idea for the kids, for you, for your friends. It can be a birthday party, a neighborhood party, maybe a team party. Heck, even Smokey Bear and the National Wildlife Federation are getting in on the act. They've got a national night out. It's a one big party. It's called the Great American Backyard Campout. Go to their website, backyardcampout.org, to find out how you can throw your own backyard camping party and get back to nature. Roll out a sleeping bag, pop up a little tent. You know, when I was a kid, these tents used to, good Lord, you know, take a day to put them up and two days to take them down. Then your dad would yell at you because you put it up wet. These pop up and down in just like no time. It's so much fun. And heck, even if the kids don't make it all night, who cares? It's a fun way to make some memories and spend some time outside. We got an easy menu plan. Come on, I'm gonna help you. And we're gonna do this together. You know, a backyard camping party is supposed to be simple, right? There's nothing easier than the menu for this party. Hobo packs, they're so simple. You remember those from Scout Camp? You put everything you want in some foil, maybe a hamburger, onion, tomato, and put it right on the fire. Hey, these days I even do shrimp and corn and potatoes and sort of make it like a bowl. Throw it right on the fire and then clean up. It's just super simple. Throw it away and go. What's a backyard camp out without a s'more? And you can do luxury s'mores. I've done a s'mores bar here. Look at this. So we've got toppings, we've got fruit. I love to start this with Nutella. That way you don't have to wait for the chocolate bar to melt. I just eat the chocolate bar. But this Nutella is awesome. It's a chocolate hazelnut spread, man. That is so good. And you can even have a couple different kinds of cookies too. And I make a whole arrangement. Look at this. Just so that everybody can come up and take marshmallow and put it right in the fire. Another fun thing to do, just put your hamburgers into one of these pie irons. Wah, 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 wah. And then the kids put the hamburger right in there and then stick it right on the fire. You can find these lots of places. They're everywhere these days. And these stuffed hamburgers are really a big trend too. Another thing, get your cast iron out. I did a popcorn bar and I cooked all the popcorn, just popped it right on the fire, and I did it in my cast iron. You can even take a big one like this. All right, y'all, this is gonna be heavy. Oh, but look at that. This guy, I can do pizzas on that. I could do grilled cheese. I could do just about anything, anything you want. Let's say you have cold weather, you wanna do soup and sandwich, you can do four grilled cheese on this thing all at one time. And you can do it right on your grill or on the campfire. I tell you what, there's nothing more fun than getting back to nature, spending some time making memories with friends and family. And if you need more tips, you can visit me on my website, martynosparties.com. I tell you what, this is my favorite way to camp. My warm bed and a hot shower are right inside.